weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen. And what might very well be the last, if not one of the last, episodes of our Breland campaign on Divide and Conquer version 5. I kind of said to myself that I would end this campaign, or this series rather, when I've given Minas Tirith back to Gondor. Because right now we've taken quite a lot of territory, basically everything that's old the Gondor territory except for Minas Tirith but also of course we have Kerandros we have the western Osgiliath etc but I mean if I start here I might very well never actually stop so I might just take Minas Tirith and then lay a whole bunch of siege to western Osgiliath or something like that and just try to clear out as many of these armies as possible I got a tip from Patrick that I might have Sharky starting to caused some problems for me. Sharky is, of course, Saruman when he died and he went to uh, to the Shire and started uh, all kinds of the scouring of the Shire, all kinds of uh, mischief, eventually getting uh, killed or defeated at the Battle of the Bywater, I think. But so far, I don't see any devastation up here. I think it should be devastation because he would come with, like, an army of rebels, I guess, or something like that. Or bandits, so I don't see any devastation so far. I don't think he's here, and also I don't see any uh, anything about Sharky in the in the script. Any scripts? Maybe uh, I could see some more of that in the Isengard script. But I also checked through a couple of YouTube videos on the brief faction overviews. Didn't see anything about when to expect Sharky there either. Uh, so. I don't know what kind of trouble he's dealing, if he's dealing any trouble at all. And with that said, now we can go back. Uh, we, Like I said, we've been taking a whole bunch of territories. We are moving a lot of our armies up. I'm thinking that would be a good idea. You can't reach Kalenhad. You can, you can, you can. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that would be a fun idea. If I move with this entire arm. Okay, you can't reach him anyway. I think it would be fun if I attack the Nazgul. But I think I'll just start with an end of turn, really. And then this army should march and kill uh, the Mordor general. Hopefully we'll get a general in the process. These guys are so beaten down, though. Absolutely smushed to bits. But we also have a couple of pretty decent armies. This one is just filled with trash. Um, that should help out in the south. Actually, I just saw something. You... Do not have the range. Otherwise, you can merge up with these lads. Cool beans. So we can just start with a new uh, new turn. And then I would like to be able to give Kalanhad uh, back to Gondor. And the same thing with Pelargir. I just want to defend... Okay, you can't even walk over here. You can't even right now. So... You can reach Pelargir though, but you don't border it, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. So, me thinking that Pelargir can be given back to um, to Gondor, actually. I think we'll start with that. Uh, you could get into Minas Tirith, 104% chance that the gates are open. Awesome. And you can get into Osgiliath. Great beasts, they have a lot of those bad boys. 72% chance, and you are moving, yes. you are moving as well. So, start off with Pelargir being given back. Actually, no, I would, I'm thinking if I should give this to Dolamroth, but no, I'll give it to, um, I'll give it to, to deal with Gondor, because I'm just hoping that Faramir will still be alive. Modest wealth, that's awesome. There you have Pelargir, which is, I think it's a pretty uh, rich settlement. Oh, right. Didn't I start, like, merchant and stuff there? An honor and a pleasure. Farewell. Which now I didn't get. Orders, my lord. Yeah, whatever. I don't think I need the money so far. As you can see, I'm pretty well off. Now, when... I mean, we won't get the cultures to start building here, to start recruiting here until... I just keep passing turns. So let's just start with ending a turn. This is by 
far the longest uh, the longest campaign or series I've ever had playing this game, but also I really enjoy playing it. Because if you just think back at where I started with like, oh, a whole bunch of sheriffs and a whole bunch of Vandobras archers and whatnot. Okay, you won't attack me in one turn. Let's see if we can actually... Anumina's rebuilt. The ancient city of the kings of Arnor has been rebuilt in the glory of its former self. The descendants of Numenor has shown today that not all of their skill and craftsmanship was lost with the Isle of Elena and that they stand strong. Cool beans. Darwinian's leader is dead. Not good. Path blocked. Path blocked. And uh, Karasast is under siege. I am okay with that. Oof. You have so far to go. To the other, to the end of the world, and you will be blocked wherever you go. That's blocked. Recruitment, whole bunch of recruitment. Alkfur and Londangren. Righto, righto. Yes. You will just keep moving on your own. You will also keep moving on your own. Yes. First, we can just throw some more troops in there. And then start walking. Good. And you can actually... Now that I saw you there, you can just start walking. Good. War declared. Drawinian and the Islings of Rune, they declare war on each other all the time, it seems. Tirngerthid. Prop rotation, why not? And Bregos, you got the Great Roads. Now let's get the Great Dunedain Armor as well. Something like this. Might be just swell. Good. And Nopara Claw, you... You've been upgraded, so let's start with fairground, roads, la di da di da. Cool stuff. And I think that's it for that. We're still making a lot of money. Making more money now than we really know what to do with. And Oldberg. Oldberg. Still working on the culture, and it still takes a gosh darn while, doesn't it? Now. Yes. You. Where did that Mordor... Where the hell did that Mordor general go? Oh, that's him. If I put you here, will you be able to reach him? No, you won't. So, let's see. If I attack you there, then you still won't be able to reach. So if we take you out of this army, run you into this one... And can we put you? Can't quite get you over there yet. We put you really close though. And then we also have. I mean, all of these lads can really get going as well. And then we have an army without a general, and we can quick save. And hopefully, you will get a man of the hour out of this. We have some Olog High, but we have some pointy, pointy boys. And the Morgul Chosen is going to be scary, obviously. But hopefully this shouldn't be too big of a problem. It's the Olog High that's going to deal most of the damage, is what I'm guessing. And I think the chances of me getting a Man of the Hour would really increase drastically if I kill an enemy general. That's why we're going with that right now. And start the deep loyment, and let's... Oh my Jesus, we really don't have a lot of archers. Oopsie doopsie. You can just stand the front line, because you're badass. Then we have all of the spears that we have in this army. Needs to make up the front lines. Like so. And then we have... Whole bunch of whole bunch of swords and axes that can be behind them. Like so. And maybe just move some of them out to the sides. And you will be reinforcing wherever you need it. This is looking good. Mighty fine army, I dare say. You move back, you move back. And now I think everything's taken care of not you who will be absolutely to the absolute back cool um i'm not 
putting out my stakes right now because I just realized a battle or so ago that they have no effect whatsoever on beasts. They only have effect on um, cavalry. And this army is not having any cavalry, so we don't really need to worry about that now, do we? And looks like they are marching towards us. So as soon as... As soon as the other guy are in reach, we will start shooting at them. There we go. You can reach them. Oh, damn. Slow everything down a lot. Okay, now all of you aim at the other guy. And then we have all the spearies. What are you going? Why are you running? You can already reach it. Okay, this is just gonna be an absolutely brutal fight, I guess. They have seven, and they are starting to get bloodied up already. That's good. I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, kill any of them, though. Now, we need to run up with everything we've got. Uh oh, damn. Ooh. Okay, now all of you, pull back, please. No, actually, you keep pulling back, and you need to pull back even further, actually. You can run in and help. I think with the spears, they should be pretty efficient against the hollow guy, and you are effective against armor, so you should run in and do some stuff as well. Now let's see if we can just run all of you out to the sides. You out to this side, you out to this one. And then just try to get a couple of uh, cycle charges. All of you can just run back here, please. And don't fire anymore. Blow a couple of horns, and they still have seven left. Still. Let's see. You, I don't think you would be able to do any damage at all against the other guy. Still seven left. And... The bodyguard is eager. Let's see if we can get a charge off at him. I think that was a pretty good charge, to be honest. Now we just need to pull back, because they are slaughtering us in um, in melee pull back now you attack them and you get over here get over here you Only half the enemy and attack them good can we get another charge up at them I wonder now you get over here how many oh four so they are starting to drop now the other guy Pull back. And let's see. You can attack them. Just make sure to really encircle them. The Morgul Chosen. Down to 14. If all of you start shooting at the uh, bodyguard. I think that would be swell. Also, we have already killed 75%. So I don't think we need to worry about too many of them surviving. Pull back. And we just need to make sure that we charge down anything that tries to run. We've lost 8%. Not optimal. I guess the most of that comes from here, but also here, obviously. Because they are so freaking strong. Can't believe how effective or how uh, sturdy they are. They really take a punch or two or three thousand. There we go. Oh, that's just the enemy general. Broken. They are wavering, but they will start fighting until the death. Yes. And I don't think Ologai even knows how to retrieve, to be honest. You attack the Ologai. With spears, I think this should be much more effective. Kaboom. Uh, at least with pikes, I'm thinking. I'm hoping. 
Okay, just start doing your thing. And... Right. There we go. That's one more dead. And... You can start running after whatever is trying to escape. No survivors today. Good. Now it's just a couple of really sturdy Olog highs. Lost 9%. And kaboom and kaboosh. There we go. And that's it. We actually healed 1% though. That's good. And we MVP at 133. The farm had pikemen. Wow, that was a beautiful matchup. Lost 35, killed 133, and I don't think necessarily that the Ologai dealt that much damage either. I thought they would have killed a lot more, to be honest. But I'm just happy. Happy, 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 happy that we didn't lose more than we did. Let's see if we will get an, uh, a man of the hour out of this ordeal as well. The balance of power was clearly in our favor. I'm just thinking, I mean, come on, we killed the general. Should get some kind of man of the hour out of this. Please? Please, 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 please. And uh, no. No. Yes. Kaboom. Two star general. What up? Freaking go, man. Let's freaking go. Awesome. So now we have that. And I'm thinking, can you merge up with anything here? 76, 72, we can merge some stuff up. But we can also, like, disband bandits that I don't really need. 47 farmhand pikemen. Okay, we'll just merge up whatever we can. We can't train anything fun here yet. And they will be sieging us for quite a while, I guess. So what if I stand with this army behind them? Wonder what will happen then. If you were to attack us here. If you were to attack this army. Would we still be drawn in? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Can you be invisible in the forest? No, you cannot. And you might just be attacked by this army as well. Oops. Right. You can move. And... That army is scary. Some cavalry, the great beast, and a lot of temple marksmen, temple wards, all look high. Yeah. Karasast um, might be... Oh, might be lost. Jesus, we don't really have any, any infantry to protect uh, ourselves with. Interesting. So we'll just run up with the cavalry, hopefully deal as much damage as possible. Uh, artillery, I don't really know what I want to use them for. I could just get a draw out as well, though. And that way we don't have to fight them at Karazast. And instead, I'll just... I'll lead this army... And then uh, my ally can just get chucked in. I think that might be the best idea. We will lose a shit ton of troops that way. Ooh. We will lose a whole bunch of troops. But we also won't really have to... We can get another draw out here. That would be fun. So, um, I think we have a better chance at fighting with these two armies. Even though we're going to lose a whole bunch of bodies. Then we have fighting one defensive battle here. So what I'm going to do. I uh, guess you can just move somewhere else. You attack them. Uh, quick save. How we conquer of Alkford. You will be commanded by the AI. You are a pretty decent commander. With that I mean you're not a one star commander. But you have a whole bunch of cavalry. A whole bunch of artillery. Which I hope that you're going to use. Kind of clever. And I just have a bunch of units that are pretty trash. So, let's uh, hope for the absolute best and fight this battle on the battle map. If we draw, if we lose, we are absolutely screwed. So let's just hope that we don't do that. Or if we do, at least that we take enough of the enemy with us to the death. So that our third army can kind of come and mop them up. 
turned against us. Right, uh, let's start the deployment. I don't think we can get much better weather than this, actually. Uh, I wonder where my ally will be coming from. They should be coming from behind them, right? So what I'm gonna do, set you up. And all of our missiles in one group. And stormtroopers. Alright. I can have you in one group. And then we can just put stakes on one side. And we have a really decent uh, line here. Really decent line. That we can put like so. And you can help out at this side. Good, good, good. Oh, 10. I thought it was 100. Oops. Cell swords on this side. And I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Merchant cavalry on this side. General in the back. I think everyone's moved. Emotionally. Start the battle. Now, they are over there. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, group you up. And then see if we can turn... No, what the hell? Group you up. And then turn this real quickly. And I'll have my ally just be super aggressive. Oh, no. This is not going to go well at all. They're just absolutely charging us down. You move back. Please. Temple Marksman, I'm thinking that you and you and you and you. Actually, all of my missile troops shoot at the Temple Marksman. You keep moving back, that's good. And my ally, I've set him to aggressive, so he will be coming from the sides here. And I think, hopefully, that he will just be chucking artillery at this problem. That would be amazing. And you move back. Then you can fire at will as well. And we need to... That's one thing that I don't like. When I group them up, the order becomes all messed up. Okay, now... Oh, damn. All the missile units. Shoot at the other guy. Volley! Okay, I think that could have gone a lot worse. What do we have here? You move back. And all of you need to move forward. You pull back, you pull back. This is becoming a real mess. Real quickly. You attack them. You march out and attack them as well. What are you guys shooting at right now? Let's move you back, please. And, oh my Jesus, I forgot about all the great beasts as well. Fortunately, I think the great beasts are pretty weak against uh, the farmhand pikemen. But, I can't know for sure. You can start shooting at the backs of them. And all these lads are still fighting the Ologai. There we go, and looks like the great beasts are fighting my ally instead. It could have gone a lot worse, I guess. There we go. You just keep shooting at something. And now, cavalry. Now it's time for you to start helping out. Actually, all of our melee troops start attack them. All of our missile troops get back into a line. Oh, damn, what's going on with you? Oh, what the actual hell. God dang it, that... Ugh. Yeah, the last unit I want to get charged by freaking Southron Lancers. At least the enemy general is fallen. That's good. 
Okay, and are you... You are marching, so it looks like a lot of them actually rallied. You killed 43% so far. What? Where did you get that from? And... Oh, god damn, are you kidding me? So now they might break all of them. That was a good one. Now they are routing. I mean, the AI is really good at just dying. Everyone needs to be good at something, right? And all of you... Start getting into formation over here. Actually, um, right, I need you and you and you to start shooting at the Great Beasts. You can start marching over to them as well. Do we have anything that's running away? You can take that Moran Guard, please. You attack them. You attack them. You march in and attack. You march in and attack. You can just... Blow the horn, actually. You attack, attack. Attack. Do you have anything here that should... You can actually run and capture the maulers. I think you should be quicker than they are. What? Oh, they even still have a bunch of Olog high. And who should run into them if not my steel bows? Come on. Oh. Come on. How long are you gonna load for? Are you kidding me? None of you even shot, did you? Oh. Ah, dang it. Help out over here. Uh, you can start shooting there. What are you doing? Um, shoot at them, please. All of you, guard mode. And just shoot at the other guy. Okay, I guess guard mode means just stand around doing nothing. Okay. Now you should be able to shoot at them. Better run away. And then start shooting at them. And there we go. That worked out just nicely. Do we have any Olog High left within our lines? Not really. And the Farmhand Pikeman is doing a great job. At shooting them down. Now, what's left? Looks like a lot of your, their units are routing. Which will give us a good opportunity to capture them. Hopefully without getting too... Um, getting too hit by friendly fire. We've killed 93%. So the army is completely wiped out. But we did lose an, uh, a general in the process. I think there were two generals in that army, actually. All in all, we lost 33% of our total force. Some of that in friendly fire, I guess. Just keep going after one, after everyone. There we go. Anything left? Any bigger squads left? You do still have... Okay. I actually think I want to exit this one before <laughs> the uh, catapults and the ballistas heal something of mine. 33% healed uh, down to 27. So not optimal, but we do have still we still do still have, have some units left. Also looked like a lot of their units started to break. That's embarrassing. Uh, MVPs in our army 140 on the cell swords. That's great. MVPs in there 205 on the sword horsemen, uh, who they managed to get most of them most of them killed. With most of their, all of their cavalry. Most likely they just ran them straight in and hoped for the best. Not a lot of friendly fire though. That's good. The catapult got two kills. Come on. 
Ballista 21, Ballista 45, Ballista 16, Catapult 25. Okay, so not what I... Okay, I'm just not going to look at that anymore. At least um, the settlement is safe now. So now we need to just merge up a whole bunch of our stuff and make sure that the army is ready to, uh, ready to go to war again. Be gone, if you be not deathless, for living or dark undead, I will smite you if you touch him. Uh, execute? Yeah, please. Enemy camp sacked, that's good. And we... what? Yes, my lord. How are we the conqueror of Alkfoot? Yeah, I was kind of anticipating for him to die, actually. And you will be able to join a army. You can run in there real quick. Oh, and they're still really pissed. A uh, low tax rate, I guess. And this army has a general. There we go. Merge some stuff up. And then we can throw in a catapult. And you can be disbanded. We'll throw in a ballista. Let's see. And you can be disbanded. And we can throw in some steel bowmen. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. Let's see. Now, I think this army is ready to go be on the move again. We don't have the movement points though, but that's okay. And you will be given to Gondor. We could theoretically give them to you in this turn because we don't really have the threat anymore. We also hold that bridge. So let's do that. Uh, Karazast. Karazast, Karazast, Karazast. It is good to see you, my friend. How can we help? Let's give Karazast to Karagondor. There you go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, that seems I absolutely agree that it seemed fruitful for you. You both lads can join that army as well. And then just keep going. Good. So now we have three armies down here. And you can stand near the bridge. Actually, you can stand on the bridge. We can still be attacked, I think. Okay, so now we also have one army. Yes, you could attack Karandros. I think I'm gonna do that in one, in one turn. We shall engage. We shall prevail. There we go. We and sack the settlement. Oh, damn! That was a rich settlement. And we can start by repairing the stuff that we broke. We train what we can, and then let's see if we can destroy something that the orc scum has constructed that we don't need. No, the orc scum has constructed things that we absolutely can use, so that's good. Now, this army could reach Minas Tirith right now, which in turn will be open, but I think it would be more fun. None of you can reach here. What if we take you out of Kalanhad? I'm thinking that it would be fun to uh, attack this army, get a draw out from the western of Skiliath, capture that one as well. And then none of our armies can reach Minas Tirith, actually. So let's just give this a turn, because I think it would be fun if we could give a whole bunch of settlements all in one turn, like Karandros, western of Skiliath, Minas Tirith. Kalenhad. You can't, we can't lower your taxes, and we don't have a general to put yes, in there. Your orders, my lord. We will keep moving. My lord. Okay. Let's just, for now, end this turn, and then we'll see what happens in the next one. Carandros, no, I don't think we need to worry too much about that settlement. But let's just end the turn. And our armies keep moving south. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. And I'm starting to think that this might be the last episode of the series, actually. Minas Tirith seems... Oh, what in the world of what? Okay, now um, that I'm thinking about it. 
<laughs> we should have taken Western Oskiliath just to make sure that didn't happen. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. End of turn report. Still making ridiculous amounts of money. Construction. Let's go through some of that, shall we? Cheap farming. Under towers, you are being upgraded. Corwillishar, you're also building a bunch of great stuff. Karaznurnaled, cool. Go with the roads. Something like this. And Gobadrain, you got the Lord's Hall. Congrats, my man. And then... Um, Dunlarak, sheep farming, cattle farming. And actually... All of you, save for the Brilliant Militia, can start moving over here. Something's telling me that that all of this might take a while. And Tsuduri, you got the Dunedain Armorer, so we can retrain some stuff. That's awesome. And Dunyard, great roads, crop rotation. And retrain some stuff. Good. Now, just to be sure... I'm actually going to train another army. And Carandros, you've been that's been repaired good. And I will actually um try to hold this place. So let's get the militia garrison in case we get attacked. He also repaired the Mason's guild house. Now yes, my lord. we could Yes, we absolutely could, my precious. We absolutely could. We could just go absolutely ham with all of this. Yes, my lord. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. We won't be able to take um, Minas Tirith in this one. But, let's see. I could put you here and attack them, I think. Or maybe it would even be attacking Western Oskiliath. Do we have two generals in any of these armies? No. Damn, we are starting to run out of generals. Real quick. 113% chance. And so... We can walk in wherever we want in any of these places. Just put some spies somewhere. Because it's fun. Do we have any really weak armies that can just take that fort to make sure that we hold it? You can get in and capture it. Okay. Yes, my lord. I want. Oh, this is a good army. You here? And attack them. Oh, you can't attack anyone. Okay. Awkward. And you merge some stuff up. Oh. This is not a strong army for militia. So I'm thinking, yes, oh, you can't even move anymore. Your order. Oh, that was really, really bad, actually. What if we take all of you? Oh, it's just that order. army has yeah, really bad movement points, okay. Yes, my lord. You keep moving. Yes. And you, my lord. yes, you can actually get into Kalanhad. So I think if I move, take this army out of there. And put you right... I, I want to control this army. So if I put you right here. Yes, my lord. And take this lord, army and puts it right here next to it. Splitting our forces. Then Kalanad, of course, gets really cranky really quickly. What if we put you in there? 50. You're still way too cranky. Yes, my lord. My lord. Yes. And what if... Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Okay, this can be really fun. You can actually take Minas Tirith, Tirith just waltz in and take it. Your orders, my lord. And you will be able to yes, help. If I put you... What the hell just happened there? Yes. There we go. Your orders, and you... Yes, right here. And... Oof. I don't think the culture is high enough. Your orders, my lord. But we will be able to get a general in there. Mind you, a general who's not 
a very good governor might be though. So let's see if we can if it will be enough moving him into Kaldenhad in the next turn. Because I don't think Gondor will be able to will get a garrison there, and I don't think they will be able to hold it either. Might be worth a shot though. So let's give you Kalanhad. How could we refuse such a generous offer? Man, Gondor is becoming a powerhouse on the back of the Breland army. Good. Okay. So now all of you will be moving anyway. Let's take care of this mess, shall we? Yes, my lord. Oh, you can't. Now you can attack Minas Tirith. Cool. Your orders, my lord. You can attack that army, and then you get reinforced by them. Okay. What happens if you attack Minas Tirith? They will be reinforced by absolutely nothing. So you will not. I mean. Of course we need to fight the Battle of Minas Tirith, don't we? Of course we have to do that. Just to see the map. And... Yeah, Hob will be marching in. And we'll be fighting a Nazgul. And then we'll just try to just be really strategic with how we uh, attack all these armies. This might be a very long episode. Mind you, start the deployment. Oh, Minas Tirith. So freaking beautiful. Towers all over the place. Now, missile troops. And artillery. There we go. And infantry. Man, need to merge these guys up with something. Good. Let's see if he starts moving back or if he moves out. Uh, remember that the spy has opened the gate, so it shouldn't really be a problem for us. Where is this tower? There it is. Okay, where is... There we have the temple wards, right. Okay, something's telling me that these things will be really difficult to take down. Can we start moving up a little bit more, maybe? Come on. Okay, what about this tower then? Can we just take something down, please? Or is this one of those uh, Rivendell places where... Where um, the walls can't be... the towers can't be broken. Okay, it appears that this is one of those places. Okay. So, I guess... Just march in. And soon the towers are going to start absolutely obliterating my troops. There we go. Because they are 2570. Are you kidding me? 84. So that one was actually ish close to getting brought down. And the stormtroopers. I'll need to put you in here as well. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. And now just all of this will be... Farmhand pikemen. Just pokey, pokey, pokey. All of you. Right. Uh, where is the center? I wonder. Oops. Is it over here somewhere? Okay, so you can run up here as well. Can you? Oh, damn, that's so cool. The square is all the way up here. Let's get our cavalry over there. Just in case this get becomes really prolonged. We've lost 2%, killed 5, so that's decent. 
And journeyman, let's see. Can we put you somewhere else, I wonder? If I put you right here, for example. And we are actually dealing a good job. Even though we're losing quite a lot of troops in the process, they are losing more. Can we run you around on this side? Put you up here. And you get over here as well. Where are you right now? Oh, somewhere else entirely. Cool. Uh, actually, you can start shooting from here. I think you would be getting some really good angles. Oh, yeah. 33%. There we go. And Nazgul is dead. And the temple wards are dropping like flies. Balaknar Sunfire is no more. 67%, 74%, I think one unit is like 4% and we are dealing a lot of friendly fire right now. Sometimes it just has to be worth it. 94, 95. Okay, where is... The last pesky temple ward. Somewhere within the building, it seems. Interesting. Oh, there he is. Lost 9%. Will we get to 10? Actually healed one. Okay, that was decent. MVPs, you inflict... Journeyman, 69. What up? Kills on the temple wards. The, the um, armor penetrating crossbow bolts are insanely good. But the farm and pikingman got 24. That's redonkulous. Just poking and poking and poking away. Lost 110, but I think a lot of that contributes to the towers. Anyway, Minas Tirith is ours. I couldn't order a soul Minas Tirith. That map was too cool, even though it was not really a big, cool. Minas Tirith siege battle. It was a battle, and we killed an Asgul, and we got Minas Tirith. There we go. Sack the settlement. And start repairing whatever, I guess. There we go. And you. If I put you here. With honor. Yes, my lord. And then attack with this army. Okay, we have a lot of things that's gonna go down here. You attack. Okay, you can't even attack that army. If I attack this army with you. Oh, what? Okay, so maybe not. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Not at all what I want it to be. Might get an absolute, become an absolute slaughterhouse. Okay, you can actually get, walk out of here. And help by attacking them. I need to be strategic and whatnot right now. Do you have any armies that can help? No. No. Oh, they actually got a garrison with Kalanad. A really good garrison as well. Hot damn. And they have 70 public orders, so they're gonna actually gonna make it. Yes, my lord. Okay, okay, okay. How do we want to plan this? Okay, if I move you down here and I put you and put you there. And take this army out, yes. save for you guys, and put you there. And then I take this army and attack them. Then it's actually pretty even. 5,000 against 4.4. And this is really going to be... The battle to determine the fate of Middle-earth. We give everything we got, basically. On this... On this uh, battle. It does look like they have a lot of orcs. 
they have great beasts there. And no great beasts or no um, Olog High there either. And this is going to be the army that I lead with. So a very, very weak one. Let's just go. Jesus. An army of almost a 10,000 soldier uh, battle. So wouldn't be surprised if it crashes. Fight the battle on the map. Let's go. Super psyched. If it doesn't crash. Might get super laggy though. So I might have, have to... Um, lower the quality a little bit. Start the deployment, and I will be moving my units back quite a bit, actually. Oh. Yeah, I basically only have archers. And you will be needed here as well. You can be put right here in the front. And we have some cavalry. And a general. And start the battle. And we have something to the right. Okay. Everything. Group you up. Turn. Brathor. Go in. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Aggressive. Oh, now the lag is starting to get real. And with the next allied force to join as well. As soon as they're in uh, the battlefield, we'll have them start attacking as well. Wow, a lot of troops, a lot of troops. There we go. And we can ungroup this now. And just have everyone shoot because it looks like they are coming towards us. Yes. So I need to be really quick. With running up my infantry to make sure that we do our absolute best to protect them. What the hell are you aiming at? Just keep shooting as much as possible. We have our cavalry as well. You will also be attacking. I mean, what could really make this suck would be if we lose uh, a lot of generals really quickly and our archers have started to shoot as well let's move you up here our allies are fighting not all of them are in the on the field yet though but everyone's on the way at least and it looks like it's here in the center where most uh, problems are going to transpire. All the missile troops. We need to slow everything down. Cavalry, get over here, please. I mean, it's really difficult to see with um, with the rain. And all of you for the catapults and shoot at the Uruks and we'll have our cavalry try to start charging down the archers hopefully that will help a little bit there we go that was a not very good charge but at least we got to the right side of them right now you run over here and our allies are in the thick of it that's for sure and we just need to make sure that our catapults... Okay. Catapults. All of you shoot at the halberds. Actually, we need to start moving. We need to start moving our force to get into a better angle. There we go. Cavalry. Attack the archers. Let's see, so far we lost 8%, killed 12, so it's really even, it's in no way over. And I also, uh, I'm pretty sure that some of my generals are going to die pretty quickly. Jinxed it. The only thing we can do really is try to get some routes going. 
what do we have over here? Alberts, can you shoot at them? And do we have anything down here? All of you are shooting at whatever you can shoot at. That's really good. I think you're dealing a lot of damage. You, get over here. See if we can attack something in the back. We have a lot of halberds everywhere. everywhere. There we go. Get into position again. And attack these archers. One of our allies are getting absolutely crushed right now. And you are too slow getting into the combat. I mean, Rub is gonna die because of you. Okay, be a bit more defensive now. There we go. Missile troops. Uh, who can actually shoot at the Halberts? You can. You can. You can. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can. There we go. Let's see. Is there anything that we can kind of help? We do have other allies coming in right now. Let's hope that Rub will be able to stay alive for a little while. And you can start shooting at, I don't know actually, everything is just really blubbed up right now. We need to get into a good angle somewhere and we also need some good archers to run out and help uh, with the great beasts. You can attack the Uruk bodyguard actually. Let's see if we can get a charge off into the back of them. Oh, now it's really laggy. Okay, that's one enemy general dead. Hopefully, Gornag. Okay, that's an actual general and not just a captain, so that might help quite a bit actually. Let's get you out here. See if we can attack something else. There we go. Now, what do I need you to attack? Something is already attacking us here, it seems. Go back. Do we have any infantry over here? Okay, all of our infantry attack the Black Urix. You pull back. Okay, that's what I almost... That's what I was really hoping for. Wouldn't happen. And you stop shooting. Oh my god, most likely that's our own uh, artillery, actually. What do we have else here? That's our ally, that's good. We have you attack them. You attack them as well. Oh my god, something is really dealing a lot of damage to our troops. Uh, something is routing. Let's see if we can get our units loose to chase them down there we go yes they will be able to chase them down that's great okay so that's one general dead oh my god they're gonna get absolutely obliterated and everything's starting to lag quite a bit as well you that's good one general dead you have ammunition we need you to attack the great beasts. And let's see what kind of infantry do we have left. Nothing that's in uh, battle. That's good. You Black Uruk's those are already gone. Killed 62% but we've lost quite a few troops as well. A lot of charges everywhere it seems. That's good. I think this is going to be really good, a uh, really good exchange for us. But the Great Beasts are sturdy as hell. But I have all of my missile troops um, aiming for that unit of Great Beasts. And we also need spears front and center. Do we have anything here that we can start aiming for? Not really, not without hurting our own troops. You move back. What do we have over here? Okay, right. You're actually in a pretty good position. There we go. And we keep shooting at the great beasts. Hopefully we'll be able to bring them down. Bring it down. Bring it down. You uh, help fighting over there. I think you would be good to help over there as well. But very soon we're going to hear we've lost half of our men. 
Let's see. Anything over here that we might kill? Not really. Anything that's running back. Those black Uruks are routed. Let's see if we can go for them. Starting to lose so many of our freaking troops. What's going on over here? Okay, you need to pull back because otherwise you're gonna break. What the? Oh my god, that actually physically hurt. You help out over there. You help out over there. You help out over there. Let's just see if the Dunedain Rangers will be able to hurt. That's another captain dead. That's good. And just keep pushing. And you will be out of ammunition soon. Um, I think all of these I will actually be able to use as infantry. So move up. 76% losses. But we lost one of our allies as well. How's it going for you, lad? Actually getting some kills. That's good. Charge the Moran and Guard in the back. You can go for... Okay, they actually have trolls. That's not good. You can go for the Black Uruks. There we go. Now, slow everything down a smidge. You can go for... Actually, keep going for them. You keep going for the Black Uruk Halberds, and then you can capture the Black Uruks. What's going on over here? You need to start... Oh, Jesus. Okay, you need to run away. You need to run away. You absolutely need to run away. Do we have anything here that could help against this? We have the journeyman. Let's hope that they can get some good kills off. And I think I'd rather use you over here. Oh, Jesus. Come on, journeyman. This is what you live for. Actually, yeah, just keep shooting at them. Now, how's it going for you? You've stopped running. Is there anything that I need for you to capture? Yes, Sauron's will. You can attack the orc band in the back, I think. Man, the uh, great beasts are great killers. I give them that. And over here, I think we're doing a decent job. We're fighting the trolls. Uh, the balance of power is in our favor. We've killed 90%. We lost quite a few. You just keep aiming for the great beast, please. And you... And keep doing nothing. I don't think I will be using you for anything. You run up here. Blow the horn. Come on. How sturdy is that freaking great beast? Come on. One volley. There we go. And now, what's next? Do we have any more great beasts or trolls or anything? Yes. We do. And how's it going for you? Where are you? Do we have anything for you to attack? Yes, we have the Black Uruk Archers. I think it would be good to help against them. You need to take that Moran and Guard who are fleeing. You need to take that Moran and Guard who are fleeing. We've killed 94% of the total amounts. But we've also lost a lot of troops. So many troops. And we've lost a bunch of our generals as well. I don't know which generals we've lost entirely though. You take that Moran and Guard. You take... Run after them. Okay. How's it going over here? Oh, oh no. Oh no. You're actually running amok and you're broken. Oh my god. Run back, run back, run back. Oh no. Oh no. Right. Uh, you can capture those Black Uruks. And where are you right now? You can help fighting over there. So can all of you. Is there anything that you can help capturing? You can capture those black Uruks. You help out over here. You can turn around. And help taking that Moran and Guard captive. 97% loss. 69% losses. What up? Okay. 
It's a big, blubby battle. What do you need to take on? Those Black Uruk Archers might be good. Actually, go for those Black Uruk Archers instead. And I think we can just start increasing the speed a little bit now. We also need to make sure that we kill Temple Marksman. Is that a general, I wonder? He might actually... There we go, that's another general dead. Leo Frick the bow, so I think that was the marksman. The battle is very much in our favor. Okay, Let's what do we have now? Anything else? That's only four halberds, and I think we're good over there. What does it look like over here? Just an absolute slug fest. Oh, lost 71%, killed 99. I mean, this is a battle worthy of... The end of times. <laughs> okay. I think everything that can be captured pretty much have been captured. The battle is won. That's great. Now let's see if there are any stragglers for us to capture. I don't think there's that many left, to be honest. We've killed 99% of their army. And it's so fitting that Minas Tirith is in the background. And let's see, that's already done. We have one more over here. This little one, Moran Guard. Come on. Attack it, what are you waiting for? Okay, every now and again. The cavalry derps out. Oh, we actually healed quite a few, so we only lost half of our armies. And I also know that we lost at least like one or two generals. Oh, you have some left, some left, some left. But we won. We won. I don't even want to look at friendly fire, but I do want to look at our MVP was 110. Our allies MVP, 225, 248, Watchman Sword Guard, 217, the Dunedain Rangers. And 209, Greenway Riders. And 142 on Farmhand Pikemen. The Battle of the Pelennor Fields has been won. Oh, damn, I forgot to check if we uh, wiped out all the armies. Let's hope we did. Let's hope we did. I know that we killed, I think... I don't know, but I think we killed enough of the generals. Consume retreat by your order. Okay, o only 4,400 in ransom. Let's see how many arms we killed. That one, two, three, four. Oh, damn, that's a lot of cleaning. Okay, you survived. Yes, my lord. Freaking survived. Merge up, you get back into Minas Tirith. Oh. Yes, my lord. Merge up a bunch of stuff right now. Okay, and I think you should be strong enough to kill. Yes, my lord. Let's see. You should be able to lay to attack Oskiliath. If I assault. Okay, the balance of power will be in our favor. So let's just auto resolve this one. Clear victory. Good. Now we can just march into Oskiliath, sack that settlement. And put you... Do we have any general we can put in there? No, not really. Put you there. Attack. And... Let's see. If we just merge up a bunch of stuff with that army. Clear victory. Execute. Man of the hour. Good. 
Okay. So now I'm thinking that we are ready to give Gondor back to its people. Yes, my lord. Your order. Yes, so let's lord. do it like that. Uh, it would have been so poetic if uh, I could give it back to yes, Faramir. But theoretically, I think I'm giving it back to Faramir. Oh, I can't even talk to them yet. Ew. So I won't be able to give it back to them, or will I? You yes, my lord. can reach yes, as you wish. Harnost. And we can talk to Agondorian in general. Heyman. I will give you Gondor back, my friend. Herandros, Minas Tirith, and the Western Oskiliath. Take it. I accept this wonderful deal with pleasure. So now I think I will end the turn and kind of see how everything balances out. Because Mordor might as well just attack the Western Oskiliath right away unless Gondor gets a hefty garrison in there. Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Okay, they did get a garrison at Western Oskiliath. They got a garrison at Carandros. Not at Minas Tirith, though. Yes, my lord. Uh, let's see. Can you attack that fort? No. Yes. None of you really can. Yes, my lord. Okay, so now let's just end the turn and hope that everything kind of balances out. A noble death, Rob, conqueror of Pelargir. You died fighting for the fate of the free people of Middle Earth. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's end the turn. More armies marching over. Ugh. Mordor didn't do anything. That battle was awesome. Rootless hell, but awesome. Death stalks the land. Okay, so we have a plague at Karn Doom, apparently. Didn't even know if we could get that. I think an apothecary might be good. Death stalks the land, end of turn report. Just made a whole bunch of more money. Construction report, we don't really need to care about that. Neither do we need to care about the recruitment. And Darwinian and Rune is still at war. So, now. Uh, there is a garrison at Western Oskiliath. Although it looks like... They might be... Uh, Mordor might be... Wanting to take that one back. Your orders, my lord. Attack. We shall prevail. Kill them all. That's good. Now. Man, I'm thinking this might be a our and honor have good enough place to leave it. I know theoretically. I mean, oh my god, Mordor still has an army outside of the western of Askiliath. But everything on the western side of the Anduin now belongs. Uh, not really. All of it. But all of the areas that we took back for, for Rohan, for Gondor, has led to this moment. So what I'm going to do now is toggle off the Fog of War. See if I find Faramir anywhere here in Gondor. But after that, I will just be wrapping up this episode and this series. So let's just toggle the Fog of War. And here we are. Mordor, still pretty strong. They'll be sending a lot of forces towards Kerandros. And uh, Western Skiliath, obviously. But hopefully, I mean, they don't have that many stacks. And hopefully Gondor will be able to put... What the hell is this? Okay. Uh, so they won't be able to attack anything except Western Skiliath. So I'm hoping that Gondor will be able to take care of this. This was the stack that hid. Somewhere that I planned on fighting on this bridge. But now I see where that sucker went to. 
And I think that Dalamroth and Gondor together will be able to take care of that. Now, can I somehow see where Faramir is at? I don't think I can if he's in a settlement. Only if he is running around. On the... Um, if he's running around on the roads. Doesn't seem like that's the case though. So I'm going to think that he is somewhere in whatever is um, Gondor's capital currently. So Rohan still doing a great job over here. They haven't lost any territory. Um, but rather they have started, I think they're starting to fight. They should at least start to fight Dol Guldur soon. And they have their armies here. That's good. Would have liked to see Faramir. But. I haven't received a message. That the Gondor faction leader is dead. So I am. Uh, so I'm certain that he's still alive. Angbor the Fearless. Oh that's one of the first ones. He's still alive. That's great. And Aranath. You're working towards Pelargir. Karara Sast is also getting a garrison. whoop de doo Okay. So that's it. If we take a look at the map. Us together with um, Ered Luin and Ar not Arnor. They just rebuild on Numinas. But the Dúnedain have a big chunk of the world. If we also combine that with the Dwarves of Casa Doom, the High Elves... Rohan, Gondor, Dol Amroth. I mean, we have a good chunk. And also look at Erebor, Dale. They're still holding firm. And the Vale of Dorwinian is not dead yet. So I think this is a pretty good place to wrap this series up. 163 turns. And I have enjoyed damn near every one of them. I'm so happy about this. Also, I'm thinking if we, it would be super dumb to give every region except for Bree to Gondor right now. <laughs> but no. Bree has fought and paid dearly for all the regions that we have. And I'm proud to hold them. So, thank you so much for watching this series. I uh, can't begin to thank you enough for the likes and the comments. All the tips and tricks and requests and recommendations that you've thrown my way. I am super grateful for those and very thankful. And um, I really just hope that you've enjoyed the content. I mean, Bree, I don't think that's a very common faction to play. And uh, it was a lot of stumbling. I mean, just all remembering the Barrow White battles at Mangalen seems like a year ago. But it's just like a month or so. Uh, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. So far, I don't really know which faction I'm going to play next, but it's going to be an evil orc based faction. And we have quite a few of those. So if you have anyone you would like to see, please write them down in the comments below. Have a great day, take care, and I will see you in the next series of Divide and Conquer version five. Bye for now.